changing text on the screen one more time. Here we go. So again, we're going to use a single view app. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to give it a name, change text to. Change text to. How about that? Change text to. And I'm going to put it in my folder. Hopefully it goes to your default folder. You don't need the git resp, you know. And then hit create. Again, you don't have to change anything in this window when you get to this window. You don't have to change anything in there. You can leave it default. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the storyboard. So again, this is the main storyboard window. And next week we'll, we'll learn how to change the background color and do all that crazy stuff right now. I want you to just try and change the text like I did in my first example. So here we go. So I just started all over again with a new project, just starting with a new Xcode single project. Give it a name, and the first thing I did was click on the main storyboard. So get to that point where you're on the main storyboard. Next, I'm going to go and add my two pieces of text. One of them will be a label. One of them will be a button. To add those things to the button, I'm going to click in the upper corner here where this library is. It's up here. See it right here? I'm going to click up there, and I'm going to click a label. So the first one I'm going to put in L-A-B-E-L, -L, label. And I'm going to drag that on on the screen, put it in the kind of middle there, and I'm going to change it by double-clicking on it. And then I'm going to type in some text that says, change the text of this text. <laughs> change the text of this text. That sounds pretty good. And then I'm going to kind of click off and then click on it again and center that. There we go. So it's nice and center. Again, how did I get a label? It's this little arrow up here, or this option up here at the very top, and I typed in label, I dragged it out, I double clicked on it, and I typed in some text. Everybody got the text out there? Yes? Okay, next, let's put a button out there. Same thing we did before. Uh, I click up here in this corner, and I'm going to type in the word button, B-U-T-T-O-N. And I'm going to grab this button and drag it out there. And I'm going to put a little bit down below. And I'm going to double click on that and says, click me to change text. There we go. So we got a text that you click on that is going to change this text. So again, this one is a button. To put a button on the screen, click up here, type in the word button, drag the button out onto the screen. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. It said no scenes, so I don't know. It doesn't show you the arrow mark now. And it's a blank screen. Okay. And I'm trying to drag the label. Why don't you start again? File, new. File, new project. go to the main storyboard. Okay, so the first thing you do is click on the yes, and then type in the word label, and then drag the button out, double click on the label, and change it. Okay. Okay. And you just deleted the whole scene. Why don't you undo that? Button. Drag the 
Okay, the next thing you need to do is make your connection. Again, the connection is through a programming file. It's basically this window, it's this, this Swift file. You want to bring this view controller Swift file up to next to your storyboard. So these two need to be next to each other. How do you bring them up next to each other is by using the Olympic symbol like I was telling you before. Is this one that's all the way in the upper right corner. If you just click on that right now, it, it's called the assistant editor. It'll put the programming next to this window. So again, it's the Olympic symbol here. If I click on that, it should bring the programming next to this. Now I know the window is hard to see. You might have to move some windows around. I'm moving some windows around. You want to move some windows around so that you can see both the programming window here and your uh, window here. You need to see both of these together. Do you see both of them next to each other? Yes? Okay. Now we need to make the outlet and the action just like I wrote on the board. So you can do one, they don't have to, the order doesn't really matter at this point. But it's important where you drag it in here. You'll notice that inside here I want to put it below the class here but above the override. So all this stuff is going to go in this area right here between this, this text and this text. To drag it I'm going to click on the label first. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on this label and drag it but uh, right below the view controller right there. And I'm going to let my left mouse go. And you can call this anything you want, but this is the label that you're going to change. So this is going to be uh, um, whatever you want. Uh, um, I think we called it change text or something. C-H-A-N-G-E capital T-E-X-T -E like that. So just remember whatever you call it because this is the name that you're going to use when you click the button to put the programming in. So you're going to put change text. Did you see that? Again, it's an outlet because it's the label. It's an outlet. We're going to change it and it's a label. What the difference between weak and there's also something called strong in there is is it being used in this view controller only or is it going to be used in more than more than one view controller? You can actually pass things from one view controller to the other. That's what the storage is, weak and stuff. So let's not worry about that right now. Just use the default there. Hit connect. Okay, I'm going to actually put a little space in here because I'm actually going to put the label above this. So notice if I put my cursor over here after this uh, curly bracket right here, I can hit return there and get a little bit more space in there. Again, inside here, I'm going to I'm going to put the curly bracket in there. I'm going to put the I don't know if I should put it in front or below. What did I have it last time? In in front or below the label? Do you remember the order? Yeah, I did it below. Maybe we'll put, but just put more space in there if you want. I think I had it in front. That doesn't matter at this point. It doesn't matter the order for this. Okay, next I'm going to go and put an action in there for the button. So when we push this button, we want to change the text in here. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to grab the button and drag it below this one here or above. I don't think it matters. And I'm going to release my mouse, my finger off the mouse. And again, it's not going to be an action. It's not going to be an outlet. What are we changing to? Action, right? Action. Action right there. And we need to give this a name too. And so this is going to be called uh, change text. Or no, what did we call the other one? Change. Oh, we don't want to change. You can't use it both. So this is going to be, how about we just call it the button. <laughs> I'm going to call it the button. How about that? The button. These words, you know, they're they're made up because they're your programming. Again, make sure it says action though. The button. Everything else can be default right here. And we can hit connect. Okay, so now we have a button and we have some text. So we're gonna use the word here, the variable we gave it called change text, and we're gonna change that text. How we program to change this text is we're gonna put it in this curly brackets here. So the curly brackets for the action for the button is here. See the curly brackets? So when, when the person hits the button, what do we want it to do? Well, we wanna do what's inside these curly brackets. What do we want it to do? So we're gonna do the uh, change text dot text 
equals, and then we put the name of it in. So we're gonna type in this word, the variable that we just made called change text dot, what does the, oh, did I spell change text right? Dot, and what do we wanna change? We wanna change the text. That's a, this, this word text is built into, this is built into, uh, into uh, Swift. So this is a property of the text property, right? We can change the color of the text, we can change the text, we can change the text itself, we can change all kinds of things, okay? So using the name, and then a dot, I almost like CSS a little bit, and then we're gonna put an equal sign in what we want the words to be. Equal, in quotes. So what? Are, what's the new words you want? Uh, I love using Swift. How about that? Notice how it puts the closing quote in there for you already. So basically, that's all you need to do. Again, it, this is just basic um, um, things. It looks a little complicated, but you'll get used to that. We'll be dragging things and doing things like that a lot here. So again, in this button, so on here, when the person clicks here, it's going to change whatever I put in here. So in this case, if you want to view it and see it happen, you go over here to the, the play button right here. See the little play button in the upper left corner here? And if I click on it, it's going to launch the simulator. And in the simulator, it'll pop up. And if I click on the text right here, it should change the text right there. So very simple programming. Now it doesn't go back. You might want to figure out how to get it back. Wouldn't that be nice? And so on. So um, very simple. You might want to change the color. You can add the color in there too. How about we change the color of the text? How about that? Here we go. Let's try it. C-H-A-N-G-E change text, capital T-E-X-T, -E and then dot color. And uh, oh, it might be text color. I might have to call it text color. So notice how when I'm typing this up, it comes up with an option here. Oh, it's capital C. That's what my problem is. It's telling you C-O-L-O-R. And then what color do we want to change it to? How about red? Uh-oh. It doesn't say red. What, what, what did the book say? Can we use uh, solid colors? I can't remember what the book says. What is the uh, color? Oh, they want you to use... Uh, Oh, here's color, color, text color. Okay, we might have to use the word text color like that. See, so yeah, here's all the properties. Again, you have text, you have text color, you have font, you have text alignment, you have number of lines, you have an enabled, is highlighted, baseline, break line, adjust font size, allow the font, shadow color, offset. So here's all the properties for your, your thing. So if we want to change the text color, you're going to have to use dot text color here. And then... Um, I don't know if you can use a, let's see, can we just use a solid name? I don't know, let's try it. What did I say? Dot text color red. Okay, it didn't, notice it's not in quotes, because so, it's not a string. I, I can't think of how to change the color here. Oh, red, it has a dot red. I wonder if that works. Dot red. R-E-D, is that red? Red. R-E-D is red? Dot red. Okay, it's not giving me an error. Let's try it. Again, I'm changing the text this time, and I'm changing the color. See, I'm using the same word, right? See the same word as it is here. Dot text color with a capital C equals red. So let me try that and see if it works as well. And the simulator is here. You might have to click on the simulator. And let's see, does it change the color as well? It does change the color, okay? So again, you have all these properties for your text. You just need to learn the basic syntax for it. Uh, again, in the book, it actually had some, some examples of what you can do to your text. Here it is, uh, here's the list. So these are all the things, again, very easily that you, of course, most important thing is we made a variable for that text, that label. We called it change text. Then we added a button, and inside the curly brackets for the button, we used the name of the variable, and we put it in the text. We want to move text, and then 
and you write poems. Very simple, but this is the foundation there, and you're using the visual interface. I know it was a long day, I know I've been talking extra time here, I'm sorry, but hopefully this gives you a good foundation of just, we'll be doing this every class, dragging things out, and you have to learn to drag out, uh, and then the programming like that we'll do together. And then we, we experiment, like I tried doing today, hey, let's change the color, do you, you need to experiment as well, and read, a good, you know, read about how to do things yourself. I made a video of this, we can put it on YouTube. So you can try. Who got it to, to work? 